Artificial intelligence can write an essay, create a work of art, and now, say researchers in Singapore, essentially read your mind. These researchers have developed a technology that aims to recreate what you see by looking at scans of your brain. Here's how it works. Study participants receive an MRI brain scan while looking at a series of images. So the, Im the participant is presented with a series of images, each lasts for nine seconds with nine seconds break in between. And then now you can see this is the functional magnetic resonance imaging data. Researchers say the AI program learns which images correspond to which brain scans. It translates your brain activity into a language that it can understand using a program called Stable Diffusion. So next time you come in, uh, you will do the scan, right? And in the scan, you will see the visual stimuli like this. And then we'll record your brain activities at the same time. And your brain activities will go into our AI translator. And this translator will translate your brain activities into a special language that a stable diffusion can understand. And then it will generate um, the images you are seeing at that point. So that's basically how we can read your mind in this sense. And we can see the generate images on this side. Not quite a perfect match, but you can see it is a baseball scene. The technology is modeled to the brain scans of individual participants. And researchers say it has a long way to go before it can read the minds of the general public. But if mind reading does one day become a reality, they want to make sure private thoughts are protected. People might be worried, right, whether the information we provided here might be assessed or shared without prior consent. So the thing to address this is we should have very strict uh, guidelines, ethical and, and law in terms of how to protect the privacy. Still, the scientists are optimistic that mind reading AI can be used for good to help people control artificial limbs or if they're unable to speak, communicate using only their thoughts. Maybe we can help him to like uh, control their um, their robots and um, their their phone like uh, communicate with uh, um, communicate with others like just uh, using their thoughts instead of speech. Studies all over the world are looking into the implications of stable diffusion. Scientists in Japan, the United States and the Netherlands are learning how AI can make sense of our brains. The research is a new frontier as artificial intelligence starts to turn science fiction into reality. Linda Kincaid, CNN.